In my life, I've bought so many accessories, especially when it comes to microphone accessories. In the past year, I've invested in two things. They're essentially the same thing, one bigger than the other, but I really just bought them for one main thing. And to be honest, it's probably the biggest thing on this channel. Welcome back to the Rebel Tech Channel. I'm Justin, and in this video, we're going to be talking about multi mounts for your microphones. And we'll talk about the two versions that I have here and where you could apply them in your own stuff. Of course, for me, I really just use them for microphone comparisons, and I eventually will use it for other things like stereo setups and multi angle audio. But for the most part, I really do think these are pieces of gear and accessories to microphones and also other things. You could put other, anything that can fit the uh, threaded mount on there, like lights. And I've actually used it for lights, which we'll get into in the applications that I've used it for. And I really do feel that they're very useful. And if you think outside the box, outside of the what it's designed for, you can make and use it for so many things. So let's get into the two options that I have. My original one being this one, the stereo setup. Basically, if you had two stereo condenser microphones, um, two stereo pencil condenser microphones, shotgun microphones, whatever you want to do, you're trying to mic something up in a stereo setup, this is what you would use. There's another version like this with sliders, but I like this one more because it's just easier to deal with, at least in my opinion. If you have something different, let me know down in the comments. Uh, so this was nice. This was the first one that I bought and I bought it for my first comparison. I think it was the PD70 versus the, it wasn't the first one, but it was, it was up there. Uh, my first comparison that I wanted to make it unique and put them on the same stand. Before that, I had the AT2020 versus the 4040, and I think I did the PD7, no, not the PD70, the pod mic versus the AT2020, that was early on. And I needed something. I was looking into these and I hadn't invested in it yet, but I got this one. And very reminiscent to my quick release video, this is also made by Gator Frameworks. Both of these are. One's bigger than the other. Speaking of that, I eventually invested in this one. If I could find a place to put it. So you could see four. I've got four. If you saw my budget broadcast battle royale, whatever you want to call it, whatever I called it, I can't remember anymore. This has four. Technically, it has five because if you undo the top here on both of them, there is another 3 8 thread to use it. So the next thing I want to get into is what are some applications that I have used them for? And I've alluded to some of them, but I want to really get into it. This one here, microphone comparisons, if you're into that, but mostly for the regular folk, meaning people who are going to be using it for not YouTube. Well, I won't say not YouTube videos, but not tutorial videos like I do. You can mic up guitars, you can mic up a uh, drum set, that's the word, drum set, piano, anything that could be used as a stereo setup, this is perfect. This can be used as well if you want to have a little more spaced out, but this one will do the job if you're just looking to have just two on there. This one here, you could have multiple. So you could have two different styles of stereo setups. So if you have two pencil condenser microphones on the edge, maybe two large diaphragm condenser microphones there, depending on what your application, what you want to use it for. I have used it for some stereo stuff, but I really haven't gone into it too crazy, but I will be doing stereo setups with some cheaper options because I don't want to invest too much money. I'd love to get another Octava, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But like I was saying, there are more applications to these accessories than using them for microphones. As I said, it's a 3 8 thread right on here, and you can use adapters like this, a 5 8 to 3 8. If you have a 5 8 thread, then you want to bring it down. You could also get an adapter to go further to be like a quarter inch out, whatever it may be. You can get adapters 
for anything, pretty much. So you could put almost anything on here. The thing that I used it for was when I was working on a short film a couple months ago, we needed a edge light and we had those aperture MC lights, the ones that magnetize to the whatever you want to put them on. And we threw them up on this and we used it as like a boom pole for uh, like a microphone on the boom pole. So I was using my boom pole and then we had this on another boom pole as an edge light to give a little more light and a little more color and uh, really play around with it. And it, it's really a good application for this because I, I feel that if people expand the usage of gear like this and expand the variety of things you get out of it. I said this a while back and I, I stopped saying it for a while, but I still live by it. Get the most out of your gear, meaning use it for more things than you think. I mean, the Shure SM7B was used for so many things in studios, but now people are using it for Twitch streams and, and podcasts and stuff like that. I mean, of course, it, it's not a big, a big stretch for it to be used for those things, but it wasn't the main set. I mean, look at Michael Jackson. He used uh, the, well, not maybe not the Shure SM7B, but definitely the Shure SM7, one version of it, on the Thriller album. So when most people were using U87s, he was using that. So consider expanding your horizon and expanding what you use your gear for, because you can make one investment and it could be worth like four or five investments if you really, really try. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about is really, are these things worth getting? And I spoke about the applications. I've spoke about the things that I use them for and have used them for in the past. But to do that, I want a little bit of company and I know how to do that. All right. So. I have a bunch of microphones in my face, as I'm used to, and I think uh, I I overdid it. I don't think I should have this many things in my face. Uh, you get the point. I could put a lot of stuff on this mount. Everyone loves a good mounting. So the real question is, what can you use them for? And I said lights, microphones. You could use it for like an action cam or something like that. Getting an overhead shot with a monopod or have, have multiple cameras on there. Make the most out of it. Get the most out of your gear. And that's the point of this video. It's a short video. It's something that I wanted to just share with you. It, it's something that I have made a lot of content with. And just because I'm doing microphone comparisons with it doesn't mean someone else can't do a lighting uh, set up for it. Maybe I could borrow some of my friend's lights and I could make it work with that and do a video on that or whatever it may be. I, maybe I pick up some of my own. It could be anything. There are so many applications with these things and you just have to have the insight and you have to have the creativity in your head to make it happen. I really do think that everyone has the capability of expanding that creativity and using it to teach others. That's what I hope this channel does. I hope this channel really teaches people to expand the usage of gear, expand the uh, limits and it, it break those limits on what gear has been presented to you. Sure, you can use a microphone for broadcast, but can it be used for voiceover? Can it be used for singing? The only way to do it is to actually do it and there's no other way around it. You never know if you don't if you don't try. I mean, it's it's really difficult to figure something out if you don't try it. So highly recommend everyone just take stuff that you own already and try to get more out of it. If, it, if you fail, you fail. Who cares? You give it a shot. But if you succeed, it, it's worth that much more in your life. Same thing applies to just about anything. Get the most out of everything in your life and don't waste gear or don't waste anything on one specific thing because it's not worth it. Get the most out of your gear. Get the most out of everything that you own. And that all being said, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please hit the like button down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. Helps this video, helps this channel, and uh, gets out to more people and all that stuff. YouTube algorithm thing, you know that's a thing. 
And if you have any comments, questions, anything, leave it down in the comments section. If you have any ideas for usage of the multi-mount, usage of other pieces of gear that is kind of outside of the norm, but you think it could work, and you want me to try it out, or if you want to send me stuff, I, the Discord is available now, so you can send me pictures or whatever it is there. Uh, so join the Discord as well. Uh, streams as well till the end of the year on Mondays. It's going to be Monday. And I'm going to probably, for the most part, for the rest of the year, be playing Halo. So be ready for that. And also, one rule. Please be nice. That's all I ask. That's a general rule. And you know what I mean by being nice. Just... Be nice. That's all I ask. Lastly, if you like my vibe around here, please consider subscribing. We are over 1,100 subscribers and we're well on our way to one and a half and 2K and hopefully further and beyond. And what's that line from Buzz Lightyear? To infinity and beyond? Well, to something and beyond with our subscriber count. So if you really like the community, the vibe and everything, please consider subscribing and please consider joining the Discord where not only me, but other people can help you out with other things going on with gear and audio and all that stuff. And that's all I got for you. Until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next video. I found a wireless transmitter. It goes for 300, but I got it for two, and it doubles as a lav. Which is wonderful. What the f are we, Jacob? Environment, not your sexy counterpart.